Hi, my name is Hala Corey, and I am a trainer in the somatic therapy portion of the training. I come to this work with about 25 years of experience as a somatic therapist, uh, a yoga teacher, and a trainer. Um, my passion is understanding the mind-body connection and also understanding how our well-being is also impacted and influenced by the larger socio-political context that we are in. I'm thrilled to be a part of this training and I want to share a little bit about my background and what I'll be bringing. Um, my training is in psychology and I also have a master's degree in counseling psychology and a second master's degree in community psychology. I'm also trained in somatic experiencing, which is a body-based therapy that addresses trauma and how trauma lives in the body. I've been a practicing somatic experiencing practitioner for about 15 years, and a lot of my work was developed with system-involved youth here in Los Angeles. About 20 years ago, I was asked to bring a yoga program to Central Juvenile Hall, and at the same time, I was doing my training in somatic experiencing. And what I found was that these young people were carrying a lot of trauma in their bodies. And I got really curious about how we might bring these somatic tools into a group experience. And so I started to bring yoga, somatic experiencing, trauma work into a group experience. I also have been in private practice for that whole time, working with people one-on-one. -on -one. About 15 years ago, I started training facilitators because I was having a lot of folks that were working in trauma-impacted communities as yoga teachers, as coaches, even as therapists. And they were finding that they were getting overwhelmed or like they were having no impact and some felt like they might actually be causing harm. So I became really passionate in training leaders, folks who are holding space for others, in understanding the impact of trauma on their clients and on their students, but even more importantly, an understanding on the impact of trauma on themselves. So as practitioners, those of us that are holding space for others, it's really, really vital that we be in relationship to our own unconscious material, that we be practicing tools of self-regulation and connection and grounding so we can hold space for those that we are working with in a really um, sustainable way, in an effective way, and in an ethical way. A lot of the work that I do is framed with an understanding and an inquiry around social justice injustice and structural violence. So that when we are thinking about people that are impacted by trauma, we also wanna think about the roots of where that trauma comes from. And for people that are dealing with systemic oppression, we have to think about how the larger systems have to change in order for true healing to occur. So for this training, I am going to be focusing on trauma-informed facilitation. And that journey begins from the inside out. It begins with understanding our own physiology, what has shaped us, what brings us to this work, so that we can hold space for others in the, in the beauty and the messiness of their own journey. I'll be offering some real foundational tools for working with um, dysregulation in the nervous system, for working with dissociation or hypervigilance or trauma symptoms, or just unmetabolized stress. We're going to be talking about things like transference and countertransference so that we're looking at what we're bringing to our work with our clients as well as what might be in the space that's their own unconscious material. We'll be talking about how to titrate the work so that people don't get overwhelmed, how to stay inside of our own scope of practice, and we'll be having lots of opportunities to practice teach. Our language, our voice, our tone, our pacing is all a really important part of holding space in a trauma-informed way. We want our language to be inclusive and invitational, and we wanna be able to remain grounded and curious in the face of our clients or our students who might be feeling overwhelmed or dysregulated. I think that holding space for people's healing is one of the most satisfying things that we can do, and I truly believe in our innate capacity to heal and grow and transform trauma.